Brett and Jen, when we're talking about these intense conditions, they can be very dangerous for vulnerable groups like those with respiratory issues, trouble breathing, and those of the elderly age. And also, we are, the doctors are telling people to take the necessary precautions like staying inside if you can. Now, we did have a chance to join the community renewal team in their efforts to do their meals on wheels today, and they are also conducting wellness checks to their clients as well. This team does not stop. Thousands of meals went out Tuesday as they normally do throughout the week to homebound seniors. But on a brutally hot day like today, the well-being of those on the receiving end on the forefront of the delivery is just as important as their next meal. That wellness check on a day like today when it is so very, very hot, make sure that the seniors are okay, make sure that they are not in a situation that could be dangerous for them with their own personal health. Uh, if for some reason the house is too hot, making sure that that local services are then going to be contacted. Wade Fay, transportation manager with the community renewal team, took us along for the ride. Heat indices clocked in at triple digits, adding stress on the vehicles, causing two trucks to overheat. We get out and just do what we got to do. But what, as far as the trucks that broke down, we get another truck out to them and they get back on the road. Two compartments in the truck both refrigerate and heat the meals. Weather puts a lot of stress. So you already got heat up to 180, 190 uh, degrees in there. And with the weather just overcooking the trucks. But the deliveries pressed on despite the summer setbacks. Those receiving this care say they appreciate it immensely. I, I like the people. Sometimes I get another person that comes over. They're always nice to me. Uh, I love the meals. The meals are nice. Gotta eat no matter how hot it is. We Italians always have chicken soup. I'm Italian and it is a little bit too warm for me to have chicken noodle soup, but CRT will be out there tomorrow despite the weather and the hot and humid conditions delivering their meals to their clients. I'm live in Hartford, Rachel Piscatelli, Fox 61 News. Hi, Rachel, thank you.